We're back talking softball on Cards TV as the 2012 season is underway. I'm Sean Moth. Great to see you. Great to have Sandy Pierce all back. Sandy, hello. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank Let, you. Let's, let's go 5-0, and oh, shall we? Michigan State, <laughs> Illinois, Florida International, UMass, and a big win over UAB. And uh, you, you really can't ask for much more on the field in terms of that start. No, we were, um, as we talked about all weekend, we were really proud of this team um, and everything they did. We, you know, we pitched well. Um, we attacked the ball offensively and certainly with more power than we probably have in the past. Uh, we just did everything right defensively. You know, we made the plays we had to make and it just was a great weekend. But, you know, and we played at some very unforgiving hours. But yes. with that said, this team, every day they came to the field, they were happy, they were ready to play, they were pumped up. It was great action. It starts with pitching as it does in these sports, and I guess it's hard to ignore the biggest pitcher of the week and Torrey Collins. Torrey, especially that final game, put up a career-high 13 strikeouts and kind of led your staff, and, and all three actually really were involved, and all three came away with wins on the weekend. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, of course, we're excited about Torrey. We, all, we, we know Torrey's got the tools and that she's going to always do a great job. And She certainly is highly motivated this year. She knows it's her senior year. She definitely wants it, and she's been working very, very hard. Um, I think the, the advantage of having Chelsea Leonard back, who is not probably going to throw seven innings, but she's going to give us three or four innings of work, and those are three or four innings that we really need to kind of help take the load off of Tori. Sure. And Kara Lisa had kind of a good and bad start. She had good moments and bad moments, yeah. but uh, again, if she can come on, we're going to be a good solid staff with lots of options, and taking just a little bit of pressure off of Tori, a few less things, we would have liked Tori to throw few less innings you know 20 innings on this first weekend was a lot for yeah. her we would have liked to have kind of reeled that back a little sure. bit sure we look at some of the numbers in terms of columns that were pluses and the power column was a plus uh, Maggie yeah. Ruckerbrot and Tanner Fowler a two-person wrecking crew over the weekend you yeah. guys were hitting the ball out of the out of the park yeah you know a lot of uh, coaches come and they go you know what's in your bats or you know what are you guys feeding your kids but yeah um, Maggie's worked super hard this year on improving her power and being able to get the ball out of the park a lot more this year. She's worked really hard, and it, and it certainly is paying off. Tanner Fowler um, really, honestly, has been struggling for the three or four weeks off of our live pitching coming into this. So I, I didn't know what she would do. And then she just exploded. Yeah. And then, you know, we had one, Caitlin Mann. And I, we probably had a few more on Sunday if the wind hadn't been so fierce blowing in. Sure. Because the balls went up, but they certainly carried back in. Yeah. Uh, the, the record was perfect over the weekend. Unfortunately, it wasn't a perfect weekend. You had a couple of kids dinged up, but yeah. that gives you an opportunity to shuffle some kids around. You, yeah. You've got a deep team this year, and they're going to have to step into the lineup and, and show things in uh, Greenville, North Carolina at your next tournament. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's unfortunate. Certainly don't like to. And certainly losing Alicia Walney and Maggie yeah. are two big losses to us offensively as well as defensively. I mean, both of them anchor down their positions very well for us. Um, so it certainly isn't something that we're happy about at the moment. I mean, Alicia Walney, we, we might possibly get her back this weekend. Sure. Um, more, probably more likely the following weekend. Um, in Maggie's case, that's probably about a three-week to four-week with the because um, she has that broken bone. So it's yeah. a little longer, going to be a little longer for her. But um, again, those are great kids. They're going to be there. They're going to be supporting their teammates and still helping us. Uh, I know um, poor Maggie is probably the most disappointed because it's a long period out for her. And yeah. And honestly, we're going to miss her ability to throw out the runners sure. and pick off runners and as well as her offense. No question. The catcher does so many things that really don't necessarily make it on paper. And uh, yeah. the one thing that does is the bat, and she uh, provided that early. This is a great tournament. Uh, East Carolina, the host team, will be one of the teams you meet up with. You open with Virginia. I mean, yeah. there's some quality teams. Hostra, I think we talked yeah. about. So uh, uh, while the competition was good this past weekend, it, it gets a little bit better this weekend. Yeah. This is a step up from last weekend. In general, I think UAB was very strong and UMass certainly had a great pitcher, but going into this weekend, we're going to see overall team strength. Um, Virginia pitching and, and, and a pitcher we've seen before, and she was very good. And uh, Again, uh, Fordham has a top pitcher on the mound. We have not faced Fordham, I don't think, ever, actually. So okay. this is going to be a, an interesting matchup for us. Uh, again, East Carolina, old Conference USA oh, yeah. opponents, a uh, team that's done extremely well over the years since we left Conference A, many NCAA, many conference championships. You know, this is going to be a tough week, and Hostra is a talented team. We faced their pitcher as a freshman. She gave us fits. Yes. So this will be a very fun weekend for us because we need to see where we stack up against just a little better caliber team. 
and it continues to get us ready for our future. You know, we have Creighton coming in who's tough, yeah. uh, and then, you know, we're going to be going over to Knoxville. So this is a good weekend for us to see what little things do we need to work on. All right. Well, we're looking forward to it. You can follow along on UofLSports.com, see how the team does this weekend. Safe travel. Best of luck to you and the team in Greenville. Thank you. For Sandy Pearsall, I'm Sean Moth. Thanks for watching. We'll talk next week here on Cards TV.